As part of operational measures to contain banditry and kidnapping in various parts of Kaduna State, the government in October this year shut down GSM network in about five local government areas in the state. The affected areas are Chikun, Igabi, Berningwari, Giwa and Kaduna South local government areas. While residents developed various coping strategies over the network shutdown, bandits still carried out isolated attacks, especially on the Kaduna Abuja Highway. But the government says the mobile telephone shutdown, which lasted for more than a month, was largely successful from the military tactical point of view, a development that has prompted the government to lift a ban on telecommunication services. Residents are advised that the restoration of full services in the affected areas may unfold over a few days as the service providers mobilize to power and boost their transmission systems accordingly. Notwithstanding, the state government says other security containment measures, including the prohibition of motorcycles, all over the state remain. The restoration of telecommunication services in the state has been welcomed with mixed feelings by the residents who narrate their experiences. Uh, we tend to have uh, relative peace on that road uh, because uh, perhaps the telecommunication uh, shutdown uh, worked. Uh, but all this, and there are also complaints from some pockets of complaints from other people that uh, even when the shutdown, when the telecom services was, uh, was suspended, the bandits kept on with their kidnapping and other uh, criminal acts. Uh, but all the same, we must commend the security. It has really affected me in the sense that uh, I couldn't keep in touch with my loved ones, my family. Like personally, I stay in Kaduna, my wife stays in Kanu. So you see, if, if except I look for network and call her, she can't get me. It has been a challenge because I couldn't reach my family. Mr. Gilbert Gado believes the state government can do better than restricting network. I think there should be better strategies to go about this rather than taking out the whole network of the entire local government on, and making people to be uh, frustrated in trying to get networks so that they can be able to do their business and, and also carry on on their daily activities. The Kaduna state government says despite the recent security breach on the Kaduna Abuja highway that resulted in the kidnapping of some travelers and the death of one person, the ongoing military operations against bandits remain in full force.